Our next round is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. Now, this week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. It's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Melissa. <laughs> So, Raj, what is Melissa to you? Well, this is Melissa, and last year she caught me cuddling her car. <laughs> Deborah, how do you know Melissa? Uh, well, this is Melissa, and I recently discovered that we shared the same naked cleaner. <laughs> right. Finally, David, what is your relationship with Melissa? This is Melissa, and she once assaulted me with a super soaker when she mistook me for a fox. <laughs> Please, team, where do you want to begin? Well, it's got to be Raj, has not it? Yeah. So, why are you cuddling her car? I had a car which was my pride and joy. It, was a, it wasn't the value, it was just a, a Spitfire. It was a, it was a really nice... Blue Spitfire. Which stage of your life was this, Raj? Uh, to be honest, I sold the car only about six years ago. Mm. And, and I hadn't seen the car for all that time. And as lockdown was easing, we were told that you could actually drive to beauty spots and go for a walk. We got in the car, we drove to the parking spot at Hempstead Forest. <laughs> oh, Hempstead Forest, yeah. No, Hempstead. 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 I just Hempstead. thought you were very posh. <laughs> <laughs> Hempstead Forest. <laughs> it's about two miles from where I live. OK. And uh, we parked up and, lo and behold, huh? there was my old car. So you went and, and embraced the car? Well, it, the only... I would never have sold that car, but it was about the time when I really had a bad back, so it was just too much getting in and out of the Spitfire. It was really low. So yeah. I, my wife said, you, you know, yeah. you, you've Rob's got... Rob's the same, getting in and out of his back. Yeah. You've got a little door now, haven't you, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> so you... you I you saw the car. I you saw, saw your car, and, you, and it's obviously the same red. And so you know, it's yours. you know, we, we, we were in a, a good mood. The sun was shining. We were able to go for a walk. Yeah. And I said to Sue, you know, it's my old car. You said and to I, Sue? Yes, Sue's my wife. So I, I, I said to Sue, oh, man, it's the, my old car. And I just said, oh, I've got to give it a hug. Yeah. And so I went over, and literally, I was giving it a hug, and this <laughs> lovely lady came up to me and said, excuse me, but what are you, what are you doing with my car? Right, and right. I, can I just ask you a question? Have you come on national television to invent an alibi about you and your wife going dogging? <laughs> <laughs> How did Melissa react upon her arrival? Well, she... To be honest, I mean, she didn't know who I was from Adam, so she, uh, you know, said, what are you doing? And I had to explain that this actually was my car, cos she hadn't bought it off me. OK. What, what year was this car? It was, I think, 1963. Ah, and it's a Triumph, so it will have had the sort of TR4A suspension. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, to be honest, I, I have no idea, Lee. Ah, good, cos I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> was, it a, was it a soft top? Yeah, it was only a two-seater. But, Raj, you also said that Melissa was there with her family. It's a two-seater. Oh. No, I never said she was there with wow. her family. There's more to you than a lobster costume. Do you I know what I'm it... saying? <laughs> <laughs> She wasn't there with her family. She was there with a friend. There was just two of them. Just the two of In them? In the same bubble? Keep it light. <laughs> 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 All right, who would you like to uh, quiz next? Well, Deborah, she, she said they shared a naked cleaner. Now, I've heard of naked cleaners. Are I've you serious? Yeah. yeah. Is it a thing? It is a thing, and I know two people that have them. Wait, wait, stop. What? No, 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 because I can't say who it is. Well, we know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> does one, does one always stand on the left so we know who it is? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, don't go there. One I didn't four. say anybody. Who are you thinking of? No, I don't. <laughs> Why did I come on this show? <laughs> Do you know what? Can I just say to our lovely audience here and everybody oh. watching at home, Rob, I've told a million times how much I love this show. I mm. told you how much I love this show before mm. the show. I told no. everybody that I love this show. No. The reality is, is I never want to come on this show again. <laughs> <laughs> I should say, uh, you can hire naked cleaners. I had not hired a naked cleaner. I had hired a cleaner who was wonderful and I adored. And one day I came home and discovered her cleaning naked. Oh. Naked, naked. Completely yes. naked. Now, please tell us about that conversation. I came in and I shouted out, 
hello, Anna, I'm home. And she popped her head out of the bedroom and said, oh, I'm cleaning naked because it's so hot. <laughs> and, um, and I went, oh! And, and I said to my best friend, thank God my husband didn't come home. And she went, mm. don't be ridiculous, Deborah. he was under the bed. <laughs> You're not a very good I, cleaner, is she? I... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, anyway, it then turned out it was just something that she liked to do. If it got very hot and there was no one home, she enjoyed cleaning naked. Right, so, and did you say this is fine? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I feel very grateful anyone will come and hoover and clean my bathroom as it is. I'm not going to start making stipulations like you have to have clothes on. I don't think that's a I... strict rule. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're allowed to say, uh, you know, tea's in the kitchen, milk's in the fridge, keep your clothes on. <laughs> and it's completely fine. No, cos I feel uncomfortable. Then I feel like I'm one of the lords and ladies in Downton Abbey. So you think by saying keep your clothes on, it makes you sound a bit uppity? Yeah, just generally... It's a good point, actually, cos I'm worried... I, I've got a cleaner and I'm worried I'm not down to earth as I used to be. So when I get back, I'm going to say, can you take all your clothes off? <laughs> because uh, I'm a little bit worried that people are getting the wrong impression of me. <laughs> So, Melissa, it, Melissa isn't the cleaner that... No, no, no. What's so, the connection? OK, so I was at a party and I overheard behind me someone telling my anecdote, which was, I came home, the cleaner put her head out of the bedroom saying, I'm cleaning naked cos it's so hot, and I thought, she's stolen my anecdote. So I just went, excuse me, that's my story. That happened to me. And she went, well, it happened to me. I said, what is your cleaner's name? And she said, Anna, and I went, oh, my God, we've got the same cleaner. Yeah, but, like, yeah, but no, hang on, hang on, hang on. She doesn't advertise herself as a naked cleaner. No. She's a cleaner who likes to take her clothes off. You're saying they exist as a... Would you like to book a naked cleaner? Yes, they well, do. But clearly what Anna does, you know, you would prefer that. <laughs> that doesn't... Well, no, I think... <laughs> what... That doesn't... <laughs> I think... The potential here... Oh, I just... Oh. I just want to go home. <laughs> The point is that what you're saying, I think, is that, she, that this Anna maybe has missed her vocation mm. working as the kind of cleaner you're talking about your perverted show business friends liking, <laughs> where they not only are allowed to take their clothes off, but must do. <laughs> you're very calm about this. I you're mean... like, OK, that's fine, that's your attitude. I'm, I'm shocked. You know, you're married, do you want your husband to see a naked woman cleaning the house? Oh, he would just be... He's like David. He would be, um... <laughs> he was very like David. He, he, he would just be really embarrassed about it. He'd just be a bit embarrassed. He'd just be a bit embarrassed. All right, now, what about David? Oh, he's never been naked in his life. <laughs> Every bit of me has been naked, but never all at the same time. I like to think of the idea that you came out in a little jacket. <laughs> Remind us of your connection to Melissa. And, well, this is Melissa and she once assaulted me with a super soaker when she mistook me for a fox. <laughs> Do we, are we all aware of the super soakers? Especially a large, powerful Ooh. water pistol. Yeah, they're, they're It takes quite... the fun of the water pistol and then goes too far. You'll be familiar with the principle, Lee. <laughs> what were you doing? For her to think you were a fox. <laughs> were you, by any chance, making love with a high-pitched squeal? By the bins. <laughs> Yeah. Again. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I, I think, as we've established... <laughs> I've heard you, David. We've all heard you. <laughs> no, you can't have it both ways. I'm either some pathetic asexual lump, as correctly expressed by Deborah. <laughs> to be strictly fair, I did not describe my husband or you as a pathetic asexual lump. No. Yeah, yeah but said... we knew what you were thinking. <laughs> I'm either oh. an embarrassed embarrassment <laughs> or I'm a, f a fox squealing by the bins. Not both. But what were you doing? Good question. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was replacing and removing a bin. Melissa lives next door. We both have, at our house and at her house, green recycling wheelie bins. A green bin is for green waste. No, yeah. no, 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 that's a brown one. Where I live, which I'm not prepared to specify on television, for obvious reasons... Uh, what? It's... In case they try every door? <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's just... <laughs> they could narrow it down. <laughs> anyway, a green uh, wheelie bin f is what you have for recycling where I live. But why does she think you're a fox?